Country Diggers. I'm back. Um, as I said, I just got back from Florida, Panama City, and I stopped at the store, a pawn shop, and they had a lot of good stuff there, I t uh, vintage things, okay? And I'm gonna show you a few. Um, this harmonica first, it's a Marine Band harmonica. It's uh, made by M. Honer. It's uh, from Germ made in Germany. Um, the number is 1896, but that's just the uh, patent date number, okay? I figured, I looked them up, and um, I figured this one is from the 1950s or 60s, because um, right here in the middle between the two hands, there's supposed to be a star in the circle if it's made before uh, the uh, World War II. And it doesn't have it if it's made after World War II. And this one doesn't have it. So I figure it's probably 1950s or 60s right here. Okay. But it's got nice decoration on it. Very nice. It's uh, wood. Made of wood. And uh, on that side... A very nice, very nice harmonica right there. Uh, made in Germany. But um, I've always wanted a harmonica. I've always wanted to find, dig a harmonica, not a harmonica reed. Uh, I've never dug a harmonica reed either, but I wanted a whole harmonica. And the chances are I will never dig one. But... Uh, I did dig a toy harmonica, <laughs> a whole toy harmonica, but this one's a real one, and it is, it is nice, I think. Got nice decoration and everything. Very nice one. I don't care how old it is. It's nice. Okay? And uh, it came in the original box right there with it. So I do figure it's probably 1950s, 60s. And then I got this right here. <laughs> okay, it's a wood. I don't, I don't know if it's exactly wood or not. I think it might be wood. But I just seen it there and I thought, wow. <laughs> <clears throat> so um, I got it. I know. It's a guy smoking a pipe, a man smoking a pipe. And, uh, but it's nice, very nice craftsmanship, I think. Very nice, right there. So, I got him and, uh, he's my man right now. All right. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> we got a little sinus trouble in Florida and Brought it home with me for a minute. <laughs> I also uh, saw this bottle. Got this bottle. It's a. Um, it says uh, a blend. A blend of the choice whiskeys, and uh, its establishment date is eighteen. I think it says eighteen ninety nine on it. And it's Suntory Whiskey product of Japan. Now, uh, the guy who sold it to me said that, that uh, a guy found it, a man found it in Alaska on the side. Oh, hold on a minute. Let me turn that. Treasure talk is coming on. <laughs> I had to turn it down to get this done. 
Um, he said he, it, a man found it on the, in Alaska, on the beach, on the side where Japan uh, meets uh, across Alaska, you know, where, where Japan is, it must have floated over, I guess. And uh, he's, uh, I just got it because it's very nice looking. I don't think, I think it's 1977 is what it has on it on the bottom right in there, but um, it's a nice bottle, I think. I, I don't really care if it's um, valuable or old or what. It's a nice looking bottle, I think. All right. And then I, I got the, um, right here is 1769 and 1969. This is Jim Bean. This is a San Diego two th uh, 200 anniversary. Of San Diego okay it's Jim Beam he's in there somewhere on the bottom I thought it was nice I have a cork to go in it I know it's supposed to have like a a top that um, you know like the uh, I've got a Civil War uh, centennial one and um, it has a top with Robert E. Lee and um, who else? Um, I can't remember who else on the on the top of it, but um, I got a, a nice cork that'll go in there. And then I got this one right here, okay? This is a Canadian, a Windsor Supreme imported Canadian whiskey product of Canada. Blend all of can blend a blend of all Canadian whiskey imported and bottled by the Windsor Distillery Company, New York, New York. Okay. This is not Jim Beam. Uh, it's Canadian, distil uh, Canadian Supreme Windsor. But I saw him and I thought, wow, yeah, I gotta have him. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I like him. Okay, there's a castle behind him. I like him. All right. I'll catch you back later. Bye.